to fuck, he needed to make love, or he'd kill himself. Sure. So I have gone on TV and nobody got it, and now, how is he gonna, you know, they're not intelligent enough or genius enough to say, hey, you need to lay down with somebody, go right ahead, like Sigrid Freud. I dated Sigrid's grandson. Wow. Lucian. Really? Wow. And uh, well, it was in my destiny to read a book that Sigmund wrote about sex therapy and my son needs it. And he won't get it in the asylum. That's what I'm trying to tell him. And then I had one black lady, I know voices, she was black. She got it, she pushed it, and then all of a sudden, hey, honey. Hey, you know, we're alive. He likes talking to me. It's not a problem, right? I tell her. I think, I mean, I think he's all done, right? You're no, yeah. are clients right allowed to enjoy themselves? I know, but you're, you're yelling now. I know you're upset about oh, being I'm about yelling. My son could be murdered. Oh, I'll yell Lord. louder. Louder. Oh, Why don't you fucking ask those two to help me? And I, 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 to do. I, this is a bar. Noble, I'm noble. Sweetheart, this is a bar. Maybe, a bar. hey, you're in the wrong place. This is hell if it. nobody listens to me. And this man wants to listen to me, and maybe they want to listen to me. No, I think they're. This man wants to sit here. He's just finishing up, and it's huh? time. It's time what? to go, honey. Who? Who? Oh, so my son is supposed to just. Die because no, sweetheart. But you're in a bar. There's nothing. I'm in a bar. I'm 